You once stepped into a world of survival horror. Good luck. What's going on, guys? It's myself, Rocky. I hope you're doing okay and well and having a great time. So, I do apologise if I was a li if if I was very quiet in, my, in the previous videos because I did my best to enjoy while I was playing it as well, and I didn't want to do too much talking because it's a Resident Evil because I am a massive fan of Resident Evil and I just like to play it. Yeah, so we're down in the... Where is it we're down to? Uh, the, the basement floor of the laboratory. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you're all doing well. Right, these magnum rounds, I'll just want to keep for the for the big boss. So definitely we all do so. Right, so I, I just want to put this ink ribbon away before we can uh, use it for the next save we do. Okay, so he's resting now. Right, an elevator pressing the button has no effect. It hasn't been used in a long time. Yeah, so ba basically this is the same... Um, you know, uh, this is the same part in um, what you see in Resident Evil Zero. You know, it would be good if we could see a Resident Evil Zero remake. That would be brilliant. Right, a huge breaker system that regulates the power to the lab. But I don't think um, we're going to get anywhere if we don't restore the power. Right, so the west area is uh, not being supplied with power. Right, so th th there's got to be... It's locked on the inside, but there's got to be a fuse somewhere. <laughs> right, okay, so there's some sort of tentacle there. Okay, so there's a little note on here. Username guest, the password is none. Right, so this is the... Okay, so... Laboratory security manual. Um, security measures in case of an emergency. In the instance of a uncontainable biohazard breaks out, all security measures will be directed towards the underground transport facility. Right. Okay. That's good. That's okay. Right, I don't, I don't think that did help that. What? Okay, we've got a flamethrower.
Right, I'll keep the shotgun out. Um, what the? I only got one space left and that's it. I could swear I've been through this way before. Well, I'll try and see if we can find the fuse. Because we haven't got a fuse to power any of this up. Type L. <laughs> okay. Door is open with a car key. What? Okay, I think we I think we're going into the freezer now. Oh my god, it's a free it's a fridge freezer wardrobe. You literally store your clothes in the fridge freezer. Oh, we're thinking it's a wardrobe. This is Primark. We're shopping in the freezer Primark. Yeah, th this is the biggest wardrobe. Fridge freezer wardrobe. Okay. I can't believe it. A control box used to supply low temperature experiments so I can use the super conductor fuse if I had a fuse case. Right, okay, I wonder what this is. Okay, so we've got the main fuse. It looks like a computer as, um, for organising data files. Uh, okay. Just like I said, it's a fridge freezer wardrobe that we've taken the fuse out of. No, I can't carry any more items. I'm going to have to leave that there for now. Right, so we're out of the wardrobe and then we're going to place the fuse. <laughs> I don't even know why I call it a wardrobe. I think it's the meme that I made out of Animal Crossing, you know, because like people are storing their clothes in the fridge freezer I think it's a wardrobe. <laughs> Right, okay, the, the main fuse has been taken out, but I'm going to pop this in on the end of the video. Okay, so the power has been restored, and I'm going to end the video, so thank you guys for coming in. Results.